Hello everyone, this is Artistically D coming to you today um, to talk about a very important topic. Um, I'm doing this from my computer camera because uh, my my phone camera is really bad. I have an older um, I have an older cell phone so I think I'm gonna have to either get a vlog camera or I'm gonna have to get a better phone. But I'm new at this so I just decided that I would come um, on my camera on my computer to talk to you guys about this important topic um first thing i know that my eye tends to move around a lot i think i have a lazy eye i don't know but bear with me i'm new to this and sometimes i get nervous sometimes i stumble on my words um and if you love me you won't be so harsh and you won't be so judgmental of me and my eye or maybe you don't even care maybe that's me being sub, um, self-conscious I don't know hey that's what this healing journey is for anyway um, it's for um, to admit you know certain things I don't like about myself and conquering those fears and being okay with those things okay anyway um so I'm coming to you to talk about this very important topic I'm calling this video putting depression on blast in the african-american community yes you've heard me Yes, I said it. I'm putting depression on blast in the African American community. And um, this is why I'm putting depression on blast. Well, first of all, I'd like to say um, I suffer with depression. Very, um, this is going to be a kind of a personal video. I suffer with depression. I was diagnosed with depression, I believe, back in 2011. Um, I was very, I was. Um, clinically depressed. I um, was prescribed medication that didn't work out too well and um, I mean but if medication works for you then that's perfectly fine but yeah. Um, I um, was diagnosed when I sat down with the doctor and said that you know on certain certain days I don't feel like myself. I don't feel you know I don't feel right and if I'm if I'm not staring at the camera it's because I'm looking up um, statistics about depression to share with you um, what was I saying um yeah I just went to my doctor and I just told him that um, you know that I wasn't I didn't feel like myself I really didn't know what was going on with me I didn't um, I would feel very down and very suicidal and like 2007 in 2008 I was in high school and they were really bad times for me I was very suicidal during those times even though I hit it because I'm a naturally funny person well to some people I'm funny to other people I'm annoying but to, to most people they think I'm funny and I would hide what I was going through um, I would hide what I was going through by humor and by making other people laugh so that the focus was taken off of the pain that I was dealing with and it was put on uh, it was put on um, it was put on laughter and humor um, looking back on it now um, I wish I would have known what this was and I wish I would have known how to combat it um, when I was 17 and 18 um, but in a way I'm still thankful that I know how that I know now how to combat these things um, I'm going to talk about my depression as an african-american woman um, in the african-american community I'm just going to be honest and you don't have to agree with me but I feel where I'm from and this is not all over this is not like I'm not talking about like the whole african-american community like I'm just gonna put every black person or every african-american person in the room and say everybody no I don't mean it like that but from where I'm from and from what I've seen and from my experience being an african-american person I feel like depression is something that we don't talk about I feel like that some of us don't talk about I feel like it's 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 taboo it's just something you don't talk about if you're depressed you need you know some people in the african-american community will say that you need to go to church or you need oh my note fell that you um, you need to go to church or you need to pray more or you don't have anything to be depressed depressed about you have you have this you have this why are you depressed um 
a lot of people don't understand that depression is something that is a chemical imbalance. It has nothing to do with what's going on with your in your life. I'll take you know, I will say that depression can be triggered by these things. Sadness, you know, can turn into depression easily. But a person that is clinically depressed, it mostly has something to do with them having a chemical imbalance. Um, for example, someone could have just gotten married yesterday to the love of their life and they will wake up the next day and they can feel depressed. It has nothing to do with what's going on around them. Um, your moods can shift and um, they can change um, easily when you have um, depression. With me dealing with depression, and, and this is a part of my, my journey also. It's not just, you know, weight loss. It, you know relationships and everything like that it's dealing with a lot of emotional issues that I have um, when I'm depressed I'm going I'm just going to speak on my experiences when I'm depressed I can't get out of bed it's hard to get out of bed um, it's hard to brush my teeth it's hard to answer the phone when someone's calling me I have friends that specifically know that when you call me and if I don't feel like answering the phone or something or if I don't answer the phone or if you don't hear from me just know that I'm going through a moment and that I'm not feeling well and I don't feel up to talking because I don't want to you know I don't want my depression to turn into anger or to anything else um, or you know or I just generally or I just I just won't feel like talking so I don't answer the phone but um, I pulled up some statistics some statistics some I pulled up an article about African Americans and depression and um, one of the things that um, it says here on this website I'm on www.mentalhealthamerica.net slash go slash depression in African Americans um, it says here that um, Clinical depression is not a personal weakness, gracelessness, or faithlessness. It is a common yet serious medical illness. Clinical depression is a whole body illness that affects your moods, thoughts, body, and behavior. Without treatment, symptoms can last for months, weeks, or years. Appropriate treatment, however, can help most people who have clinical depression. Um, these are the, and this is, um, I'm going to read one more thing from here because I think this is important. It says, myths about depression. This is what I was talking about earlier. The myths and stigma that surround depression create needless pain and confusion pain and confusion, I'm sorry, and can keep people from getting proper treatment. The following statements reflect some common misconceptions about African Americans and depression. Why are you depressed? If our people can make it through slavery, we can make it through anything. When a black woman suffers from a mental disorder, the opinion is that she is weak, and weakness in black women is intolerable. You should take your trouble to Jesus, not some stranger slash psychiatrist. The truth is that getting help Getting help is a sign of strength. People with depression can't just snap out of it. Also, spiritual support can be an important part of healing, but the care of a qualified mental health professional is essential. And the earlier treatment begins, the more effective it can be. And I, I'm glad I stumbled on this website. I just pulled up the first one because, you know, when you're doing a video, you probably should have your, um, you should probably have your facts up before you start talking but I just wanted something to back up what I was saying um, I've dealt with that a lot um, just I'll just randomly tell someone you know hey I'm not feeling really good I'm, I'm feeling depressed um, and they'll say you know you have nothing to be depressed about you have a car you have this you you have that you, you. and it's like it, it's not about material things it's not about being in a relationship it's not about your life or what's going on I think that some forms of depression are caused just from having chemical imbalances um, and having something within you that isn't aligned right. Um, I come from a long line of, of genetics um, of family from family members that have dealt with mental health issues. I have an uncle that has schizophrenia. I have another um, close relative of mine that has bipolar disorder. Um, muscular neurological neurological muscular disorders run in my family as well as diabetes and um, as well as um, many other things so 
another this is another reason actually doing this video has really